All oh, right, this uh, YouTube is especially for the Kingdom of Yahweh group at Facebook. Uh, okay, <laughs> we've got Brian Marceau, uh, Dwayne Resurrect Duke. Okay, another Hebrew net, Catherine Dean, Alex Brannigan, and Rubu Cop. Hello, Rubu Cop. He's just on the other side of the room. All right. <laughs> now, um, Michael and Manon put me in this group. I don't know whether you've cottoned on, but I've been blasting the group today, um, trying to knock some sense into you, as I've read some of your comments, uh, and you're all talking about your love for God, Jesus, Yahweh, and I have been slamming you with proof. And still, I'm getting stupid responses from some of you. Well, one of you in particular. And I noticed the other one, the particularly nasty piece of work, who thinks he must know something, Johnny Dragon. If you're still part of the group, Johnny, then uh, take a hike. That's my advice. Or humble yourself, because you're completely deceived, along with the rest of the group. Now, what is it all about? Well, I have told you today in no uncertain terms, that the Christ is already back. Yahweh, the creator, the master and the owner of the vineyard. If you'd taken the time to read the post that I have been leaving for your benefit, because a lot of the rest of the world is already aware that the Christ is back. Most of them hate him and reject him. As a matter of fact, 99.99% of the people that know his back reject him. It's all to do with prophecy. The most royal man, he was as Jesus. He was the exception between Joseph and Jacob Israel, who was the most royal man at that time, genetically related to King David. He went in unto Mary, the most royal woman at the time, and from the seed within his loins, he shot. That's what a root is. Talking about the root of Jesse, it is intercourse, where the seed from the loins conceived the child named Jesus at that time. The soul of Jesus was Yahweh the Father, the Creator, God Almighty. That is why he said to his disciples, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. The Father and I are one. That means the same soul. He came to be cut off at the age of 33. The husbandmen of the vineyard murdered the heir of the vineyard. And the vineyard, of course, is the world. However, in their doing so, they opened the way for the reincarnation of the soul of Yahweh to come back again to be reborn to the earth at the end of the age. All souls do reincarnate. The knowledge of reincarnation was removed from the Bibles that you are all reading. As Jesus, the Christ family were Essenes. In the Essene tradition, husband and wife, if the wife did not conceive a child within three years of marriage, then the husband would take the younger sister because it was all about perpetuating the royal bloodline. There were two wives that Jesus had. The first was Mary Magdalene, and she did not conceive a child, nor did she conceive anything that he taught her. She was completely and absolutely clueless, and she chose to do nothing. The younger sister, Martha, did understand everything that he talked about, and she became his wife number two, who did conceive his child, actually children, twin boys. She was 82 days pregnant at the cross. She went back to Cornwall, England, where the Christ family came 
and gave birth to twin boys on October the 18th in 33 AD. And then she too died to wait in the heavenly realm of no time to be reborn again to the earth, find her husband, the Lord Jesus Christ, as a man, not a phantom turning up on a big white horse in the clouds. I covered that in the post today. So what is it all about? It's about the rejection of the Lord God Almighty when he gets back. He is born on January the 11th, 1944, into Sydney, Australia at 2.22 a.m. He came as the thief, just as he said he would, when the whole world is sleeping and in the world's darkest hour toward the end of World War II. Now, if you've taken the time to read very carefully the posts I left for your benefit today, explaining all things to you. If you haven't done so, go back and do it. The Zionist Jews who control the world have kept the knowledge from you. They control everything. They control all media. Everything that you read, everything that you hear, and everything that you see. The protocols of Zion are very true. All 24 of them. Protocol number 20... Protocol number 14, one very short line, we shall forbid Christ, the man. The only way onto the earth is through the womb of your mother. That's how you got here. That's how a soul comes from the heavenly realm for God himself and his offspring. So you have been born into a delusion, a deception. You have been devoured by your Torah, which is all part of the Babylonian Talmud and is at the time of Jesus it was called the Mishnah and he condemned it absolutely. God is love. He does not condemn a man to death for picking up sticks on the Sabbath. So what? He couldn't care less. And as far as your rules and regulations, he tore them to shreds. It was all about loving your neighbour as yourself and loving your loving God with your heart and your mind and your soul. And you are God in the flesh. So what does that mean? It means grow up into the perfection of your soul, which understands the truth. The truth that sets all man free is that you are God. And that means that you are responsible for what you do not do and what you do do. The actions that you do not take in overturning evil of this world rather than sitting around in your synagogues or going to your churches and praying to the image of the beast, all constructed for you in your mind by Lucifer through the books that it has scripted for you to deceive you, to devour you, to get you to do nothing about what it is that they have done. They have turned paradise into hell because Man has been devoured by religions, doctrines of devils, but Paul was a devil. Rome's lead assassin, for God's sake. Yahweh does not appoint a murderer to then lead anything to do with him. And he warned his disciples not to go to the Gentiles, which was Rome at the time. So what does Paul do and the fuckwit Peter do? Yes, I use the word, the word fuckwit. Are you offended? It's Yahweh's word. It's an acronym. Fornication under consent of the king. All to do with bringing forth children from the heavenly realm and perpetuating the royal bloodline. That is how souls reincarnate down through their bloodlines so that he could be back here today and myself as Martha Magdalene, the younger sister of Mary, who was clueless. Now, I have been your route. I have been through the Christian church. I was in it for 14 years. And what does the revelation say? Come out. Come out of the whore. Who is the whore? The Queen Elizabeth II. She sits on the throne of England, which is the throne of David. She is the head of the Church of England and all its 36,000 factions. She is the head of Freemasonry. Freemasons wrote the Bible. 
that you are all reading. The 1611 King James Version, from which all other versions come out of, was put together by Freemasons. And what have they done? They have removed the knowledge of Yah, the Father, Yahweh, as the man, returning as the man. And they have ensnared you and trapped you. There is no rapture. That's an invention to get your mind up into the heavenly realm. The kingdom of God was always coming to the earth. He wants you to know, and he is filming this right now, he wants you to wake up. Otherwise, you suffer the condemnation of the sons of Cain. Do you read my lips? This is for your edification and to wake up. And there is no election. 